What's up, everybody? But welcome back to another Jorge Films film. Even though it's not a film, it's a video. But what's the difference between a video and a film? Comment down below. So today I'm going to show you how to take any playing card out of any deck and watch. It turns into a whole different card, just like that. I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. So here's how some of the things you'll need. You'll need two playing cards, preferably with the same front just to start out and different back. But you can do a um, spades, clubs, uh, different uh, faces if you would like. Um, double sided tape and clear or invisible tape. So this is apparently invisible tape. So And uh, scissors just in case if you want to kind of make this perfect, which I suggest you make the gimmick perfect as much as possible because you would not know um who's like watching super close okay so here i'm going to teach you how to do it so the first thing you'll need is um check which card you want to be ending back preferably so i want the chris ramsey carpe noctum these are not available anymore um i got assigned Chris Ramsey Carpe Noctum because he came to New York and to Phantasma. I mean, to Phantasma was a Tannins. He came to both, but uh, I met him first at Tannins. Um, um, so he came and he signed two decks a Memento Mori, first edition, and a Carpe Noctum. So, yeah, so, and these are uh, Archangels, I believe, from Bicycle. So they're like a custom bicycle. But, um,. Enough about that. So I want this to be the ending back. So I'll put that on top. And what I'm gonna do is take this uh, clear, clear uh, tape, clear tape, invisible tape, transparent tape, and I'm going to uh, take a piece. And as you can see, the piece is very uneven. So I'm trying to even it out as uh, best to my abilities. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the piece out and let's see uh, if we can uh, make sure it's uh, almost even so I'm going to try to make it as even as possible and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim it to it's slightly about there so I want that so you guys can see it so I want this so what I'm going to do now is uh take the uh, playing cards here and you see where the line is this line right here on one of the sides I usually do this side um, I will line it up with that line as much as possible I know you guys can see that can you see that so you try to line it up as much as possible right there and what that allows me to do is uh, that allows me to you know it won't be seen on the final product so what I'll do is align the cards as much as possible to the um, to themselves so square them up and I'm gonna press down on that tape just like so so on this side you'll see something maybe a little bit it's not as as much but yeah, maybe with the light, probably. Um, it's easy. This is you can use it like this, but what I will do right now is I'll take some of my uh, double-sided tape. I'll take about a small square, not too much. So this is my ending product. All right, this is the my ending product, and uh, I will open it up like a book and on the face side so I'll open it up like a book the inside face I would just attach that to the front so I got the sticky part down like that and all I gotta do is close it again like a book and press so this will come out as one okay so this is your ending gimmick this seems similar to something I've seen uh, to be honest, I don't know the name or something, but if you guys know, again, uh, drop a comment down below. What what gimmick does this look reference or something? I, I just remember that I had a gimmick that's something like this, and just to give 
credit or you know just to credit to referencing uh, drop a link down below because uh, uh, I don't want to you know I don't want to give out any uh, information I shouldn't so okay coming up and now I will teach you how to uh, use this gimmick so this is your finished uh, gimmick that you should have um, in your hand um, so I'll teach you how to use it so when you come out uh, for camera it is a little bit different because I cannot distract you I can't be like so uh, this and that so you know in magic you need to um, keep your hands moving at all times and I have a pattern which uh, means that you should be talking and you know your words are the um, sleight of hand in a way um, to draw attention away from what your hands are doing so I can't do that with the camera so that's why I had to drop my hands down but you should keep this in the view at all times um, to them it's in view at all times so here what you want to do is uh, you have your finished gimmick here with your back um, uh, out with your finished back here and obviously the front and um, what you do now is you open it again like a book and then turn it the opposite way so you have this front and you have this back when you come out out of your pocket out of your suitcase wherever um, this should be like this so you come out you'd be like so can I show you a little trick see there's a ordinary playing card yet it is not ordinary so you go blah, blah, blah. and as you're talking as you're doing your patter uh, what you want to do is let me come here what you want to do is uh, since you put a little bit of tape it's a little wiggly you obviously don't want to show that and you want to you don't want to pull it you just want to just enough like you're rolling snot it's nasty yeah but you want to do this and then you get that breakage and what you're gonna do there is um this little corner piece thing see how there's a little breakage you know as you're talking you can do this and what you do is your index inserts and now you have this so you're holding this so front front looks like that so you do it one second they don't see or you can put your finger like this so they think that you're holding it with your index but you're not you're holding with your middle so what you do here is again pull you got that little tab thing put your finger in but what you're gonna do now is you're holding it like this what you do now is quickly do this so when you do that the card lifts up with the air and since the tape is always gonna be pressing it's gonna always gonna do uh, pressure against it it's gonna close so it's like that so you have this and then you let go for a second and bam you have that finished product so we'll go from the front um, you'll be like cool you can even do it this way which I recommend you'll be like watch Ooh. the way you do here is as you turn around as you turn around put your index in the back and roll over and that double sided tape should stick not as much but when you bring your other hand you press and press and then you should end up with one card so I'm gonna do it to the other side so you have your starting point here with your with your back this is just as reference you can do it either or way roll insert index do the shake here and what I'll do is at this point your fingers are still showing you bring it and you spin it and then you press press the card down so it'll stick in the middle as your hands come in so you always seem like you have one card but in reality it's a gimmick so one more time from this side I come here I'm like look look a playing card and I'll be like be like look I have playing card watch turns and then you can come do that 
and you are finished. That's all you need. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, as I did mm, a couple videos ago, I said I'm trying to do something new. So I'm going to add magic, mixology, and we're attempting to do a podcast right now, a visual podcast. And then if it turns out as good as I think on YouTube, we're going to put that podcast on Spotify. And um, the link obviously is going to be down below. Um, today I'm on my own. <laughs> my cameraman isn't here. But, um, drop a link, uh, drop a comment down below. What do you think? Should I do it on my own or should I do it has help? Because he does all this manual zooming thing and it's cool, you know, it's not my style personally. But, I do appreciate his help, I love his help, you know, obviously, we both give each other a uh, positive reinforcement and uh, helpful criticism. It's not like, ah, you know, you suck, you're boring. No. Why would you say that? Not type of stuff, you know? So, um, th again, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. And if you're into smashing that like button, smash that like button down below. Alright? And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.